it's Brenda Lee Turner from LeanSecrets.com and today I'm going to help you figure out your metabolic type. Metabolic type is a fancy way of saying the kinds of foods that you should be eating regarding specifically protein, carbohydrates, and fats. If you take two bodybuilders, the chances are that you're going to find two very different responses to those macronutrients. You might have one bodybuilder who does so well on eating a low carb diet and he looks great on a low carb diet or she looks great on a low carb diet and the next bodybuilder really flourishes on a moderate carbohydrate consumption and feels really sharp and clear eating some carbs. And I'm going to help you get off this confusing carousel of diet advice that's in the world today and kind of take control of your own body. There are three metabolic types. There's the protein type, the carbohydrate type, and the mixed type. There are practitioners who, who will help you do this, and you can find those on, online also. Today I'm not gonna do too much of an extensive explanation, because I know you've got stuff to do, but I am gonna give you some primers, some basic cliff notes that will send you in the right direction for sure. The protein types do really well on a low carb diet. So the people who really flourish on an Atkins diet, for example, don't I don't advocate the Atkins diet, this is not my fight. <laughs> the Atkins diet, I'm not in this fight, but uh, some people do really well on cutting their carbs super low, and those are usually gonna be the protein types. The people who do really well on carb types, those might be you know, your raw vegans, the, the vegans who really, they change their whole life. They start eating vegan and lots and lots of grains, lots and lots of fruit, and their whole life is totally changed and they feel like a brand new person. The mixed types do really well on diets like the zone. The zone is a perfect balance, pretty much, of protein, carbs, and fats. Also, the mixed types tend to be more mesomorphs. So you've got your endomorphs, who are usually the protein types, the ectomorphs, who are usually the carb types, and the mesomorphs, who are right in the middle, who do really well with the mixed type. Protein types tend to really crave salty food. They tend to love to eat. I mean, they live to eat. They're always thinking, when's my next meal gonna be? Um, did I just eat? Have I eaten? I need to eat. That's because they're fast oxidizers. Their body just rips through carbohydrates and energy very quickly. So if you take an obese person who is a protein type and you feed them fast burning carbohydrates, white rice, white potatoes, bread, low fat diets that is very easy for the body to burn through. It's like throwing tissue paper on a fire. They're always gonna be hungry. Processed carbohydrates are like the worst thing that a protein type can eat. That's the fastest way to really crank up your glucose levels and leave you in a state of this hyperglycemia and having excess body fat stored on your body. The protein types tend to do really well with small snacks throughout the day. They tend to get really cranky if they're not eating, you know, every couple hours just a little nibble of something. Protein types tend to do really well on a heartier breakfast that includes protein and fat, not too many carbs. Again, you don't have to cut out the carbs altogether, but you don't want to make them like the center of your dish. Whereas the carb types, or even the mixed types, might wake up, might feel like they don't really care to have breakfast, and that's fine because it's not its not their metabolic makeup. They don't need to eat breakfast. They feel great when they don't eat breakfast. So if you feel better when you don't eat breakfast or when you have a very light breakfast, maybe a little fruit, a little bit of yogurt, not something heavy like eggs or bacon with a little bit of butter like the protein types have, then you're probably a carb type. The mixed types don't do really well on either extreme. So make sure that you're just paying close attention to what's going on with your body, what, what's working, what isn't. The reason I love metabolic typing is because it's a great way to just get in tune with your own body and see what your body needs, what your body does really well with. And that way when you hear studies, new studies coming out, this diet works, or that diet works, or this is bad, or that is bad, meat's bad, vegan diets are bad, um, you can know what works for you and you don't have to get into a panic every time you hear a new fad diet thing going on. If you want to really dig into metabolic typing and get a little bit more in depth than what I covered in this video, you can check out Paul Check's How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy and also William Wolcott's The Metabolic Typing Diet. And that's going to do it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!